everybody it's Christine I'm here to do my weekly wrap up um, I know it was not uh, it's a little late um, but uh, we went to camp well my husband went and my son went Friday night we went Saturday night and came back Sunday and then um, this morning we kind of woke up to my husband's van being broken into and he had forgotten that he left his wallet in there so <sighs> joy fun his cards had to be cancelled and all his ID was stolen so yay um, yeah so that was fun this morning but I do have a book haul because we went to the mall at the dump or not the mall at the dump the swap thing at the dump at camp so I don't know anything about the books that I have to show you but I'm going to try and get this done quickly um, so I finished The Perfect Hope by Nora Roberts. It's book three in the In Boonesboro trilogy. And this was, I can remember them, um, Hope and uh, Ryder. Their story. And Hope is the innkeeper in the family, Ryder's family's inn. <clears throat> Sorry. So it was pretty good. It, um, and then you find out, like there was a side plot or a side story of ghosts in the inn and they were trying to find a certain person it it gets finalized I like the I like the ending a lot quite a bit so I think I gave it a four it I wouldn't say it wasn't exciting um, but I liked it it was just one of those nice everything's wrapped up books so and then I read Working Stiff by Rachel Kane, and this is one of the gripes I have about my library is they have one in a series and they don't have the rest. Um, not even as ebooks, downloads, nothing. So I'll have to look for these books. But she is her first day, oh, Working Stiff, yeah. Uh, her first day at working at a mortuary as a funeral director. She's gone to school for it. And there, there's a uh, not pharmacy um, a drug company that has come up with this certain drug that they tried to do it for to cure cancer without surgery by injecting nanocytes into the person's body and in essence it is a drug that um, what's the word reanimates corpses yeah it was really good. I did I give it a four? I'm pretty sure all of these were. Yeah, this one was a four as well. And then I finished. He calls her Doc by Mary Brady, and this was about Maud and um, Guy. So they have had a previous history because she used to hang around with his brother, and he thought she was the gold digger, and so the brother died, and then he takes over not custody but his niece comes and lives with him and she's the new doc in town and everybody doesn't trust her because she's a female it's it was okay I, I gave it a three but I think something was left hanging or not dealt with and I, I don't like that I really don't it was a major part of the book so why did it leave me hanging so currently I'm reading Carol Finch's The Ranger's Woman. It's about a girl who um, her father has planned her wedding to buy out the company that he's in competition with. And she's pretty much nope. And her sister lives as eloped and moved somewhere else. So she's on her way and she's in disguise. So, um, yeah. And he's kind of, he's not in disguise, but he's... Um, not what you expect so I started this last night and I'm already almost well I'm pretty much a third of the way through and we are still reading JK Rowling's Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix we have two chapters left so we'll be finished this tomorrow night um, I am I so far this is my favorite in the series I know a lot of people like book four but this is my favorite definitely and then what I might read, um, the book that I had on hold for my Triple RC challenge um, still hasn't come in. It's overdue. It's been overdue since the 9th. 
Um, so whoever has got it, it's going to be paying some pretty hefty fines. But I will be picking up, or maybe picking up, Curiosity Thrilled the Cat by Sophie Kelly. It's book one in a magical cat's mystery, and it's a cozy mystery. And the last two challenges that I have to do for my Triple RC for this month is read a book with either a cat or a hawk or traveling in the book. Um, having a hard time with some of these challenges. And the other one was to sh um, a book that shows feet. So um, that was the one that I was going to do with the Mara Dyer book and I haven't gotten it. So I don't know. I'll have to look through and find something really quick because time is running out. And then I know somebody had asked me if this is for August or September. This is August's book of the month for hashtag on the booktube shelf and it's Station 11 by Emily St. John Mandel. I still have not been able to pick it up. There's just been so much going on. I sold an outfit. I had to pack that up and send it. So I will get to it. Um, I might just be in the beginning of September. The kids go back to school next Tuesday, a week today. So yay, some quiet time. So my book haul. First one I got, um, well, not the first one. I got this yesterday in the mail and the author had contacted me and asked me if I would like to read his book from an almost local author. He's four hours outside of where I live, which is Sudbury. I don't live in Sudbury. He lives in Sudbury. So he sent it to me and it's called Interpretation by Dylan Callens. And I'm not quite sure it's if it's dystopian. Um, but it, it is a little bit different on the inside. Like there's mainly like normal, but then there's also like diary entries and like test stuff. Yeah, like searching extract. And you can't really see it, but it's, it's kind of different. And a lot of ink blots on every chapter heading. It's a different ink blot. So I will give that a whirl. I still have two other books, three other books that I have to do for review. Um, I need more time. So really quickly, like I said, I don't know much about these authors. I just, or these books, I've just seen them and I figured I'd grab them because I think for all of this, I paid maybe 35 cents for. So let's start. Harry Turtle Dove, Blood and Iron, American Empire. Sorry. Um, Stephen Frey, Forced Out. Kathy Reichs, um, Deja Dead. I haven't read her yet. Um, I'm hoping to. Once I get more of the series, I think. Um, and <laughs> my sister-in-law, the one from hell, um, had <laughs> said, because it's her boyfriend's camp that we go to, um, has said that she had to stop reading hers because she was getting nightmares. So I thought that was really funny. And then there's James Rowland's Bloodline, a Sigma Force novel. So it's part of a series. And Richard North Patterson, Eclipse. Um, everything has something, to, everyone has something to hide. And then there's William Bernhardt, Criminal Intent. Um, Sophie Kinsella, Shopaholic and Sister. I'm still going to give this series a, a go. Um, so why not? And Steve Martini, The List. Like I said, there's quite a few. And for 35 cents, you know. Um, Jonathan Kellerman, The Web, featuring Alex Delaware. So I'm assuming that's a series. Um, Stuart Woods, L.A. Dead. I don't know if I have a copy of this already, but it's a Stone Barrington novel. And there's Dale Brown, Act of War. Um... Uh, one book I was giving to her, and I said, I told her it was a really good story, and she put it in my bag. So, but it's Ken Follett's Night Over Water. I really enjoyed this book. I was not what I was expecting, but yeah. So I had given my copy away to a friend of ours, and now I got another copy back. And I had asked her if she had ever heard of this author, and she said that he's um, pretty good. Uh, it's like epic, if you can tell by the size of books. I don't know what order they go into, but it's Wilbur Smith and there's Warlock. I can't really see that. And Birds of Prey. 
I don't know what the series would be called. I know nothing about it. She just said that she had heard he was very good, so. Uh, ouch. Then there's Christopher Reich, Number to Count. Um, don't know if it's a series. Katie McAllister, Noble Destiny. It's a Regency. Almost. Uh, almost. Sharon Sala, Missing. My mom reads her. And I've got a couple of her books, and I've heard she's really good. Paint It Red by Carla Cassidy. Um, try to get the light. MC Beaton, Death of a Dentist, a Hamish Macbeth mystery. So I think this is a cozy mystery. I haven't read any of them yet. Um, so um, uh, last two. This one, I've never read either uh, anything by him, but I've been wanting to, especially this one. Um, Kurt Vonnegut's Slaughterhouse Five. Great cover. Yeah, so, and finally, I was surprised to see this because it's in mint condition, but it's Behemoth by Scott Westerfeld, and it's hard to like. So that is my book haul. There's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one books that I got for about 35 cents. Can't go wrong. So when I'm finished reading them, I either keep them or pass them along. So it's a win-win situation. If any of you have read any of these books, I know I still have to get to the comments. Like I said, I just need more time. I have, oh, wow. Anyways, um, anybody who's in Houston, I'm praying for you. Um, I hope you everybody's all right down there. Um, I've seen some nasty pictures, so yeah. And I think that's it. I will be doing a TBR for September. I have to go to the library probably today um, to get the books from September's Triple RC Challenge. I don't know what we're doing for September for the um, on the. Hashtag on the booktube shelf pick. Um, we haven't really talked. We've all been kind of busy this summer. Um, yeah, so if you have any suggestions that you'd like us to read, let us know. And I will talk to you later. Bye.